Hey guys, Shane here, CryptoFish YouTube channel. So today we're going to go over a little Haven Coin mining, see what it's about, do a little review. All right, guys, be back in a bit. Okay, real quick before we go on, I got something going on called Bitcoin Fridays, where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. So if you're new here, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. So when the Enter to Win video comes out, you'll be notified. All right, guys, it takes just a second. Do that real quick before we go on. All right, so let's get into HavenCoin. All right, guys, so let's, uh, let's delve into HavenCoin. All right, so here we are in their site. Um, what is HavenCoin protocol? Haven is an untraceable cryptocurrency with a mix of standard market pricing and stable fiat value storage. This is achieved, achieved without an unsustainable peg or asset backing. It achieves this with a dual coin blockchain. Users can mint and burn Haven, XHV, for the equivalent US dollar value worth of Haven dollars, which are XHVD. Haven's protocol, cryptographically unknown supply, is used to facilitate the fluctuations in the total supply when users burn Haven to create the stable value Haven dollars while allowing Haven to be exposed to the natural price movements of the market. So it's it's almost kind of like a tether coin, but it's more, um, from what I can gather, it's like a more decentralized version. And they, um, they kind of differentiate themselves by being an offshore deal. So offshore storage is Haven Protocol's core concept that powers the minting and burning of Haven for Haven dollars and vice versa. In short, sending Haven to offshore storage burning mints the equivalent U.S. dollar value worth of the burnt Haven in Haven dollars. Each Haven dollar is a representative of one U.S. dollar worth of Haven which can be transferred to other Haven wallets. Users can also burn their Haven dollars to mint back the amount of Haven of equivalent value. So let's, I'll leave a link to the site if you want to read further on it. Um, so let's get into how to mine it. So this is the get to their um, Bitcoin talk. Um, don't worry, I'll have all these links down in the description. Here's a list of the mining pools. You're going to have to get your wallet. So you'll have to click this right here. If you have Windows like I do, download that. They have a Mac wallet or a Linux wallet, which is good. Here's the different mining pools. I'll show you which one I'm using. And here's the list of exchanges they're on at the moment. Uh, if you're curious about the price, here it is. Coin market cap. It's 56 cents a coin. Uh, circulating supply of 4.4 million. So here is the pool I'm using. Again, don't worry, I'm gonna have all these links down below. Um, so first off, you're gonna to wanna to download the wallet, which you'll click right here. And here's my folder for wallets. Here is the, um, what you'll get when you download it, the zip version. So when you unzip it, you'll get this folder. Double click on that to get into it. And you'll see this right here, Haven Wallet GUI. You would click on that, go through the first prompts. It's going to take a little while for it to sync up with the blockchain. It took me maybe about an hour or so of doing it. And then you'll get a little wallet kind of like this. And it's, if you guys saw my video on Stellite, which should be popping up right here, it's the same type of wallet as Stellite Mining. And you could also mine with this little uh, wallet as well which i thought was pretty neat so this is what the wallet looked like this is if you click on receive you know after it's fully sunk up with the blockchain then you would click this little button and it would say address copy to clipboard which you'll need later all right so to mine it we would go and we might i've downloaded the uh, miner which is xmr stack which you can see right here um you'll be able to find the miner uh see where did i find the miner
Okay, so the miners are going to be right here under the um, tool that I use, which is kryptonite.cc. Um, so you would click on connect, scroll down to the bottom. Here's the list of miners you can use. Again, all the links will be in the description down below, so don't worry about trying to remember what's what. I'm using XMR stack right here. Uh, I've got this running on the NVIDIA rig right now, but I'm going to walk you through with the laptop here um, exactly how to um, get it set up. So you click on the GitHub and it would take you to right here. You would download XMR stack Windows 64, which is what I have, etc. So from there, here is my miners wallet like you've seen in previous videos. XMR stack, you would click this, um, extract all. I like to name my individual miners what I'm mining with. So for the purposes of this video, let's mine it Haven 1. We click Extract. So if you look right here, Haven 1, get into there. You would double click in this case on XMR stack right here. You get this little prompt just click run anyway so now you get this little interface and it basically just walks you right through like some of the other uh, miners I've showed you in the past XMR stack um, this is not an HTTP inter interface so you just click zero uh, we're mining Haven which is listed right here so you would just type in H-E-V-E-N enter pool address let's get back over here on the connect page right here we're going to copy that right there control C let's pull up my little interface control V hit enter wallet address so again you would pull your uh, wallet up right here click copy let's go over to the interface control V paste it in there click enter password is always um, X enter Rig identifier, I could put Acer laptop, which is what I'm using. Click enter. Does this pool support SSL or TSL? If you don't know, like it says, just click no. Uh, do you want to use nice hash on this pool? No, I don't. Do you want to use multiple pools? Um, in my case, no, I don't. And there we go. It's connecting right now. Let's see what it does. Mine took a, a while last time to actually start connecting and going. Uh, you can click on H for hash rate, which it doesn't have one right now. Um, R for results, which I don't, which I don't have any results right now. So. You know what I forgot to do, guys? It's what happens when you do live video. I forgot to put the port number in. So you connect error. So it's good that I did this on live video. I did this last time. I set my other one up. So let's X uh, out of that. Let me minus this. I'll show you how to fix that real quick. You, it'll create the folder. Once you start the miner, it will create these folders. Uh, NVIDIA, which is the type of um, GPUs I got. It'll create a CPU folder, a config folder, and a pools folder. So click on that. I would right click, click edit. And let's make it a little bigger here, guys. So here's my um, info right here. So right here where it says Haven Ingest Kryptonite CC, which I copied from right here. What I forgot to do is put the port number in. Okay. So you would pick your port number right here is basically this port number is for low end slash if you're just going to mine with a cpu you would use that uh, mid-range gpu um, i will probably select that because um, i'm doing it with my laptop it's got 1050 ti in it but i'm buying with the, that and a cpu so we're going to use 5832 as our port so let's pull uh, pull this back up and right here we're going to click um, colon five eight three two 
All right, is that the correct one I showed? Yes, 5832. So let's click Save. All right, let's go back into our little folder and double click on the program again, Mining Haven Coin Kryptonite Connected. There we go. So let that be a little lesson, everybody. Make sure you put the port number in or otherwise it's not going to connect. So it's as easy as that on the walkthrough, guys. This little thing is uh, the XMR Stack Miner, standalone miner. Really is just step by step. You enter a few little uh, commands that it asks you to. It asks you easy little questions. And um, let's click H for hash rate. Only got 145 hashes. 123 on the NVIDIA card and 22, a whopping 22 on that CPU. So really, that's easy as it is to set up mining for HavenCoin. Um, I found HavenCoin on this site right here. I'll put this link down below. Uh, Crypto Slate. Um, let me go back because I was looking for you know different coins to mine. Just um, just kind of like to do some experimental mining with my um, Nvidia rig. So I did a little Googling and I Googled proof of work coins and here it is proof of work cryptocurrencies. Uh, there's 763 listed on the site and you can just go through and see what coin may interest you. You know, you click show details, say on cotton coin. It will give you the website. It'll give you the Bitcoin talk, GitHub, whatever it's got. Um, Usually it'll tell you the type of algorithm, like right here, it's X11. Um, so it's a good site for finding coins that you maybe want to mine with. Uh, anyways, that's how I found Haven. And here's Haven on CoinMarketCap, like I showed you before, 56 cents. Um, it's been as high as when it first came out, what, $6, almost $6.5 for this coin. Sitting at 56 cents, 58 cents, 56 right now. So it's got some decent upside. Um, I'm not going to be able to mine too many coins with this just because I don't have enough um, power with that NVIDIA rig. I think if you click on here, you can go over to Haven. I think you can select your kilohash or hash. Right, right now, I'm only doing hash. I think on that rig in the NVIDIA rig, it's only right around 1,000. So it's only 87 cents a day, like I said, uh, which would give me 1.53 XHV a day. So not much, you know, like I said, I kind of use that NVIDIA rig just to um, test some things out. So I'll let it run for a day or so, and then I'll probably put it back on Ethereum Classic and Stellite Mining. Okay, guys, uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, just put them down below. I'll be sure to get back to you. Um, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Again, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. All right, guys. Um, so I guess I'm out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, real quick, if you're still watching, notice I'm not in my truck today. I'm actually at the house, and I've got some peace and quiet, which is why I'm able to record this video. All right? So I do live in a house. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.